Hello and welcome to Super Auto Pets uh, weekly pack. As usual, you know the uh, drill. It's, it's nothing new here. Um, and we're starting off with a loss. Uh, I I've been playing quite quite a few games this week because they seem to fit me this week's pets or animals. Um, I mean the week before I had like I, I scrambled to get one victory I think I have like four or something this week so uh, it's been going quite good quite well and uh, starting off with I mean ant and capybara quite a good combo uh, first victory there and I had two tactics in mind uh, before going into this. One of them was the uh, using the hedgehog in some kind of way. And uh, specifically I wanted to use the he hedgehog combined with the, the uh, blowfish. Because why not? So that was my thinking. So two hedgehogs show up and quite good stats on them because of the capybaras or capybara now. Gives me a draw. Also the ant on level 3. Nice. Didn't really think about using the fairy, but I wanted the, the, the nutcracker just for for a couple of rounds, and then some stats from the giraffe because I didn't get anything else that spawned in stuff. So that's that's reasoning. Didn't really well. Did you need it that round actually? So one victory because of the nutcracker. Another hedgehog. And finally, the blowfish. And as you can see, immediately added it to the team. You're off behind it. And it gets taken out instantly. <laughs> so, yeah. All, once again, Nutcracker getting me the win. And I actually managed to roll pass one animal that one pet that I wanted to add I saw so we'll see if I, I get it again so now at least the blowfish is doing its job another victory five victories five lives left now all I need is another blowfish that's not all I need, but it's, it's not bad. And they also have a blowfish on level 2, so that's not ideal. As you can see, first loss there, one life left on the fish. And there we have it, the animal I rolled past before, the Anubis, also the uh, the second headshot on level 2. The reason for the Anubis is because I want I want everyone to faint, basically. <laughs> As you can see. Uh, so yeah, that happened. And you know, garlic on the blowfish and some damage. And Loads of damage again, and everyone faints again. <laughs> this is why this is so much fun. And it was on level 2. I mean, I don't really need it on, on level 2. Because these are going to, to activate anyway. But, you know, stats might help. Not now, but later on, I guess. Uh, this is quite a strong team. With the wasp up front with loads of stats, so... Didn't really work there. Instead, the orange could have, could have, might have 
uh, should have uh, added the mushroomer instead. But yep, didn't really see it. This is a draw. So I'm, I'm taking out quite quite strong opponents right now, which is great. Still trying to to get some stats health ways. So these ones doesn't faint straight away. Still a victory <clears throat> in this, this round. Excuse me. And we finally get the second blowfish on level two. Stats wise, it's I mean it's it's not the best, but as you can see compared to this, this team. And once again my hedgehog faints straight away, which leads to to loss. So. Yeah, need more stats on, on the everyone. Don't have anything that gives stats. Because I mean I've been I've been using it quite a lot. It's not that fun. And here we have it, the, the hedgehog finally survives, which gives me a victory because it can do damage after its ability is activated. Decided to add the Yggdrasil fruit on the Anubis to Mythologies combiner just to, if it faints, it can spawn something. And this is chaos. It's also a loss, unfortunately. So one life left. And I quickly realized that round that spawning two goats is not ideal if you're also spawning hedgehogs because they might take out the hedgehogs, the goats. So I decided to just use a pie on it instead. And as you can see, spawning a lot of animals. Still a victory. So round 18, still one life left. Or 19, I mean, now. And stats-wise, it's, as I've said before, not the best, but I'm still winning or getting draws, which is exactly my aim. This is a really strong team based on stats. The Hedgehog survives barely. And just keep shooting, which gives me a draw. I'm, I'm grinding them down, opponent. We also have Hedgehog on level 3 and some more lives on, on the first one because the Lynx is my main main enemy, as you can say. Um, because it, it can take out the Hedgehog straight away, which I don't want. This is just spawning loads of stuff. So, yeah. I mean, still a victory. So nine, nine, nine victories, one life left, and we're up to round 21. Would have been nice to get one of the blowfish on to, to level three, but we didn't really show up. This is kind of a similar tactic to me. And it, it resulted in a draw. So, yeah. Still uh, giving them more lives and finally some more blowfish show up. Uh, so I'm sac sacrificing uh, attack for health because I want them to just survive. And as I said, Lynx, my biggest enemy, takes out my whole team straight away or at least makes them weak and then my own hedgehogs takes out the rest. So, nine victories in turn 22. Still a really fun game to play. This is my, this is my kind of tactic, like this destructive thing. Just get ri rid of everything straight away. So um, yeah, you might see more of this tactic or something similar in the future. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.